Hi everyone, Jill Lancet, how are you? Welcome to Thursday night. And it's a, quite a, been quite a warm day here today in uh, Sydney. Um, now, this ends tonight. I don't know if you haven't heard of this. If you haven't heard of this, I don't know why you haven't heard of this. But it's the celebration uh, promotion and it ends tonight. Uh, if you haven't already got something in or a shopping list at least, don't miss out. For every $90 that you spend, you are able to earn uh, a, a free reward. It might be paper. It might be a stamp set. Um, yep. So you need to go to my online store, check that out. You need to run. If you've left it till now, you're, you need to run. <laughs> now, um, we're looking at a technique tonight that's um, not a new technique, but uh, I was reminded of it the other day. So I've got our card base here. Now, if you haven't got requested my templates, it's just these two white pieces here. You need to uh, email me and ask me if you can have the PDF and you will be able to craft along whether you are using metric or US sizes. This is a standard card base. Um, so whatever the standard card base is in your country, it's cut in half from your normal sheet and it's scored in half again. So we'll be looking at that. Um, I'm just going to fold that there. Um, so we've got that. We have a piece of basic black and that is in mat one. Whatever your country paper size is, mat one. Now, this piece of Highland Heather is also mat one, but it's been cut down uh, to an in-between size. So if you're using metric, it will be 13, uh, three millimeters smaller or one eighth of an inch US size smaller than our mat one. Now, if I put this up against it, you'll see what I mean. So it's three millimeters or an eighth of an inch. Now, when you center that up, you will get a very nice little border, a very small little border. That's all we want. Okay, so now we're going to do some embossing and uh, stamping and heat embossing on that. So we'll get to that. I have the stamp already set up on my stamping tool. And I do need to put my embossing buddy on there. So got a cup of tea a nice soothing cup of tea um, I find if I have coffee too late I'm awake all night dreaming of cards but yeah not that I mind dreaming of cards but yeah now I'm just inking this up with the Versamark now it's like a sticky clear ink so you more than likely won't even be able to see this for the minute but when I put this onto the cardstock, you will see it because it leaves, it's a, it's a watermark. Versamark watermark stamp pad. So you can achieve like a tone darker if you stamp this onto um, any color cardstock. You will get uh, like a watermark effect and I'll show you that. And then we will put some embossing powder on. Now you possibly may or may not see that. It's very, very hot here so i'm going to keep doing that um, just to make sure i've got good coverage okay but yeah i could leave that like that and i would just have this very subtle watermark effect but i don't want to do that i want to heat emboss so yep i'm giving this a really good push down Generally speaking, when you're using a stamping tool, um, it's very hard to make a mistake. <laughs> so, yeah, I, you know, I strongly recommend if you're having trouble stamping, I strongly recommend that you uh, find a stamping 
positioning tool and um, yeah so I'm doing this once more and then I will put the um, I will put the embossing powder on I just want good coverage now as I said it's very warm here and I have the fan on so yeah let's hope we don't um, have any problems because I'm really not in the mood <laughs> for cleaning up embossing powder. Ugh. I think I'm going to change the position of these spoons because I always seem to end up with more all over the place. Right, okay. Now, I'm taking this out quickly. As I said, it is very, very, very hot here. And I'm going to very quickly pour some white embossing powder all over this image. And let's hope, fingers crossed. Oh, lovely. That looks beautiful. It looks really, really nice. I might just try and add a little bit more here and see what we get. Yep, fan is blowing this everywhere. Never mind, I'll deal with that later. I believe uh, dryer sheets. I'm not sure if we can get Swiffer pads here in Australia. We used to, I'm sure we used to have them, but I haven't seen them for a long time, but that does not mean we don't have them. So now, I will give that a bit of a heat and we'll be in business. Let me just get rid of this before, um, yeah, something terrible happens. Okay, so here's my panel. It's in the white embossing powder and I'm going to just run this for a second on high and then we will heat this. Now you really only want to heat this until it starts to turn shiny. So as soon as you see it starting to turn, move, move along. And you can see how vibrant that white looks. Now it does only take a couple of uh, minutes to do this and yeah there we go how lovely is that I'll just check that make sure I have it all just right in there it needs a bit right there now you can also use the white um, our white uh, craft ink and then put the white embossing powder on there um, but that's it that's that's what we want to do and now we're going to uh, use one of our blending brushes and I have another scrap of paper here and we're going to go in with the gorgeous grape now they are tones of one another this is the um, Highland Heather and just make sure that that's quite cool and then we're going to do some blending now there's embossing powder on that <laughs> no comment okay so I want to go in quite dark in the center of this um, and I'm just going to go out um, as I said I was reminded of this technique the other day and I've forgotten how lovely it can be so I'm just going in with the um, the gorgeous grape and I want to build this color up now I want to take it out out to the edges and beyond um, 
and just keep building up this color I'm just going to turn that around and start filling in these other ones here Now I'm going to give it a really good, hopefully dark colour. So you can build this up. Um, you can add colour, but you uh, can't take it away. So you want to do this kind of gradually and build the colour up. And I just kind of want this halo effect on the outside. I'm probably nearly there. And there we go. Now, I'm just going to get a tissue, just an ordinary tissue. And I'm just going to get the ink off the white embossing. And you will see that that colour will pop. So we have this beautiful, look how much ink's come off. So we'll turn that around and do it again. And it just pops. It creates this beautiful um, finish, this beautiful halo. Now I can try and keep doing that just to make sure I have all of it off and I'm pretty sure I'm almost done. There we go. Now the other thing I wanted to do was to pop this straight onto our uh, black mat. And I tried to do this with clear embossing powder and I wasn't happy with the way that turned out. So I've just popped that over. Don't waste any cardstock. Just turn that over and do it on the other side. But I'm going to use the seal because it did get a bit warped um, with the heat embossing, especially heat embossing times two. But I will go across the edges and a little bit closer down this side. There we go. Now I'm going to pop that up onto our um, basic black. Now, as I said, there's just a very small little border all the way around. So it'll be either like about a sixteenth of an inch or one and a half millimetres all the way around. So there we go. And I'm just going to give that a bit of a rub from the back just to make sure that that is indeed adhered. Okay, now the next thing I wanted to do was take a strip of basic black and a strip of basic white. Now I'm going to bring back the um, um, actually I might just do it I might just do it on the black. Hang on. It's a process guys. I think I might do it just in the black. Let me take that off. It has not been cleaned, but I will clean that in a minute. Take the mat out, and I think I'll just do it on the basic black. Let's see, shall we? We shall see. Now, I have my magnet here. I have the beautiful Speedy Recovery stamp, and... I do need my embossing buddy. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that a centimetre 
out from this edge and I don't know if you can see that I think you can it's a bit tricky because it's black on black but that looks about pretty good to me so I'm going to pick that up I'm going to put some embossing buddy on here now don't forget it's a centimeter out from the edge I'm going to need my white embossing powder the Versamark and I'm going to ink this up and stamp it and then we will heat emboss that as well so let's have a look at that Yep, I think we could do another couple of coats. More so on the words than anything else. And just one more, just because it's hot. And then we'll bring back our piece of uh, scrap paper. And we'll do some more heat embossing. Okay. Now I'm just going to pop that over there because I need to work quickly here. So I've got my white embossing powder. And... This is clear. This is clear embossing powder. Oh my goodness. Let's try that again, shall we? I thought that is not looking very, very dark. What did I do with the white? That's the next question. Okay, here it is here. Now I need to start all over again. So we shall use the other side and by other side I mean other end one centimeter luckily I remembered that we need some embossing buddy do you have those days you know where you know like I don't know for whatever reason you're miles away or whatever <laughs> and you just you're on automatic pilot <laughs> right let's try take two if I knew how to edit I'd edit this bit out but I don't know how to do that so we'll try that again and I will keep doing a couple of layers and we shall see how this turns out One more, I reckon, one more for the road. And then we're in business. Okay, now I have this out of the way. Let's pop the white. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but yeah, thanks for the heads up. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you were yelling out doesn't matter okay here we go oh that's much better much much better now sometimes you get little specks and if you don't like you know it's a handmade card but I keep this tiny little look how tiny this little paintbrush is and I just use that to just sweep away Sometimes all you have to do is touch them and they're gone. There we go. So I'm going to pop that in there, heat this up and we will back 
in action. Right. Now, I'm going to use my heat gun again and There's something really nice about the white embossing powder on black cardstock. Um, maybe it goes back to when we had blackboards at school. I don't know, but yeah. It's just so much easier to see. It looks really impressive. And yeah, I really like it. So let's have a look here. Now, I'm going to give that a second to just cool down. And we might still use our white piece. We might border the black piece with that. Let's, let's just see how we go. Okay. Now, you do want this to be cool because this is melted plastic per se. So, now I want to go as close to that as I can so I can line up this is the cutting line here so I can line that up holding the paper guard down um, will always ensure a straight cut so now I can do the same thing. I can line this up again with the cutting edge. And I'm just trying to see if that's close enough. That will do fine. And there we go. So we've got our beautiful message. And I might just put a very 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 small border on that very small white border we shall see so if this is let's call that let's say one and a half one and a half centimeters so we want it to be nine so measure twice cut once. Isn't that the old saying? Yep. There we go. Pop that up there. And hopefully we should have a very, very, very thin white border just to finish that off. So I'll glue that on there now. Just use a bit of liquid glue and then we'll see how this looks on our card. Okay. I think that bottle's just about to the end. <laughs> Sorry, can't talk and do that at the same time. So I have this very, very nice neat little uh, border and that's going to fit across there beautifully but I will cut that off now I can put it across the bottom I think that might be nice okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one of these you know mechanical pencils that are quite fine and I'm just going to line that up with the purple edge, Highland Heather edge, and I'll just snip or chop that off. So I want it to be straight, so I can see the little mark there. I'm lining it up with the steel cutting edge, and there we go. And I'll do the same on this side. I can see where it is. Oh, no wonder it's dark in here. 
it's dark right there okay and chop those little bits off now we can attach this to the card oh that's right we were going to put a message on the inside what we were going to put what was I going to put on the inside oh that's right no not that where did I put them I had them I had them right here it was a typical day typical day crikey I just had them oh here they are gosh that's right I was going to put sometimes the most sometimes the most productive thing you can do is relax and I think that's a little bit lines up with the uh, fact that this is a get well quick card. So we'll take this off. We'll take this one off. And I'll line the card up. That in there like that put the magnets on it and we'll just do that in the basic black I think now I'm just lining that up there that looks pretty good to me now sometimes what I like to do is pick that up get out uh, memento tuxedo black hang on it's in the drawer and sometimes I'll put a post-it note just put a post-it note down so that I can see if that is straight or not Now, I can adjust it here if I need to. Look, I think that looks okay. It's a handmade card. It looks pretty good. It's not uh, horribly crooked, so <laughs> that's a plus. So we'll do this. I'll ink this up again. Stamp this down. And I'll do it once more least once more and that looks pretty nice to me okay so we'll give that a second and then we will uh, assemble this card so I want to now you can either pop that up or you can just lay it on flat we might pop the message up so we'll glue that on and I haven't made this card you except for the mistake in the first part where I did it with clear and it didn't turn out I usually like to have at least a go at it before I commit to the camera because yeah things go wrong otherwise so I'm just pressing that down and we will pop this up so not little ones we'll get big ones I think and I just think it's a really nice technique and sometimes you forget about these quite easy um, but effective techniques um, yeah because we're, we're, we're always into the next best thing aren't we the newest thing that's coming along and so yeah it's good to revisit some things sometimes but 
this is an old technique but that's a new stamp set so you may have tried this with other uh, stamp sets but I think we'll just pop that down about a third down now that looks pretty good to me that looks pretty good and I wanted to use these beautiful beautiful um, iridescent they just they go with any color so I was just going to put one in each, the center of each flower which I shall do oops upside down Miss Jane so one there one there and if I can get it underneath there I will put it on there just bear with me beautiful just a little bit poking out and then I think I might just put a couple of little ones around so maybe one up here and another one up there and then just one down here now let me know what you think about that um, I'm going to stand up and give you a close-up of that and I just think it's lovely technique that is quite often um, forgotten about I mean like a lot of techniques we do forget about them uh, speedy recovery beautiful white embossing uh, with that very very thin black border always sets up uh, makes colors pop in my opinion um, and then inside we have just a nice little message that coordinates with the theme of a speedy recovery so yeah let me know what you think about that um, I'm still wiping embossing powder off everything um, don't forget if you wanted anything from that celebration catalogue it's tonight or it's never so yeah um but yeah i think that's pretty i love those little gems they uh they just enhance any color that you put them on so they're they're a staple uh in my little kit so yeah let me know what you think about that let me know if you're going to have a go at that but i think this is a very very beautiful uh easy technique and it it looks really really classy anyway thank you so much um and i'll see you on the next video take care everybody bye for now